Whether it's an X-Men film, the next chapter in the MCU, or an entry in the DC Extended Universe, superhero movies are filled with some truly incredible moments. These films are about super-powered beings who fight crime, serve justice, and provide humanity with hope. As a result, they've given us all kinds of epic moments and stunning visuals that'll make you want to slam that pause button. It all started in 2008 when Tony Stark announced, I am Iron Man. After that, we were introduced to a green rage monster, a star-spangled soldier, the god of thunder, and two deadly assassins. But we hadn't seen them all together yet until the Avengers came along. Directed by Joss Whedon, this 2012 mega-hit assembled Earth's mightiest heroes for the very first time. They bickered, they bantered, they battled aliens, and every scene built towards possibly the greatest hero shot in cinematic history. In the final act of the film, Loki and his Chitauri army are attacking New York City. Five of the six Avengers are doing their best to hold back the aliens, but then there's a toothy space whale that joins the fray. Fortunately, that's when a bedraggled Bruce Banner shows up. He gets mad. Hulk smashes the Leviathan, and the angry Chitauri surround the Avengers, letting loose with a terrifying war cry. But these heroes aren't afraid. Instead, they all stand back to back, preparing for war as the camera circles around them. And you'll need to press pause so you can fully revel in such an awesome moment. Black Panther introduced the world to Killmonger, possibly the greatest villain to wreak havoc in the MCU. Played by Michael B. Jordan, he's a black ops soldier who wants the Wakandan throne, but before he can rule, he must defeat King T'Challa. Even though it's an incredibly advanced nation, Wakanda still practices ritual combat. If you beat the king, you get the crown, and Killmonger has been training his entire life for this. As his name implies, he's been racking up an impressive body count, and every time he takes a life, he marks his body with a scar. At first, we only see a few bumps on his forearm, but when it comes time to fight T'Challa, he pops off that shirt and reveals he's absolutely covered in little dots. According to Jordan, there were over 2,000 of those bumps, which adds up to a lot of corpses. It's a terrific and terrifying reveal, showing that Killmonger is going to be the toughest challenge that T'Challa has ever faced. On top of that, seeing Killmonger in all his glory prompted quite a bit of thirst from Michael B. Jordan fans. Every time I think about Michael B. Jordan, my uterus combusts into flame. <laughs> <laughs> The airport battle in Captain America Civil War might be the greatest comic book movie moment of all time. All these heroes are coming together for an epic showdown. Nobody wants to kill anyone, and they're mostly friends, so they're going to exchange as many quips as kicks. Still, that doesn't stop them from shooting arrows, tossing cars, and blowing things up. As a result, you've got a fun-filled action scene filled with pause-worthy moments that need some extra appreciation. For example, there's the first appearance of the MCU's new Spider-Man. The moment that Giant Man snags War Machine out of the air, and any time that Black Panther is going to town. But the scene that deserves the most attention comes when both groups finally square off. When it becomes clear that Cap's team isn't backing down, the two groups rush at each other for a superhero extravaganza. As the Avengers battle each other in this melee of epic proportions, the pause button will come in handy if you want to see who fights whom, how they're using their powers, and who's the toughest hero in this crazy civil war. When you're playing the Joker, you've got to make a big entrance. And on that score, it's hard to compete with Heath Ledger's strange and scary intro in The Dark Knight. One of the best opening scenes of all time, a gang of robbers, all wearing clown masks, hits one of the biggest banks in Gotham. But as they deactivate the alarm system and crack the safe, we hear them talking about their murderous and mysterious employer, the Joker. The clown thieves whisper about how the Joker wears war paint and how he's totally crazy. He's also quite dangerous, as he's ordered the robbers to pick each other off one by one. Eventually, there's only one clown left, and he's about to make his big getaway when he hears somebody screaming after him. It's the bank manager, and he's none too impressed with these mask-wearing thugs. And that's when we get the money shot. The clown gets in the bank manager's face and pulls off his mask to reveal that, yes, indeed, he is the Joker. He's got greasy hair, darkened eyes, and big scars. It's then that you'll want to pause the film so you can admire that impeccably choreographed heist. And also, so that you can calm down after staring straight into the eyes of chaos. Tony Stark has always been the most complicated Avenger, but when he first appeared in 2008's Iron Man, he was a straight-up jerk. He was completely self-centered and amoral, and he made his living as a merchant of death. He sold weapons of mass destruction, and until he was captured by terrorists, he didn't care where his missiles ended up. Despite all of this, his obnoxious attitude gave us one of the most pause-worthy moments in the MCU, when he proudly presents his Jericho missiles. Ever the showman, Tony gives a razzle-dazzle speech to a group of army officers as he fires his 
weapon into an Afghani desert. The missile opens midair and sends a dozen tiny rockets tumbling down into the mountains below. As they ignite some massive explosions, Tony spreads his arms like a circus ringmaster, and it's here that you'll want to press pause. The smoke is billowing in the background, the shockwave is heading straight for the camera, and Tony's hubris is on full display. Director Christopher Nolan has a knack for creating truly staggering visuals, and one of the most breathtaking is the burning bat symbol in The Dark Knight Rises. This 2012 flick finds Gotham City in a world of trouble. The villainous Bane has taken over, and he's holding everybody hostage with a neutron bomb. He's cut off all escape routes, trapped the police in the sewer system, and worse still, he recently broke Batman's back and tossed him into an underground prison. Things are looking grim for the citizens of Gotham, especially Commissioner Gordon, who's about to get iced. And that's when Batman shows up to save the day. You can't keep a good bat down, and after Batman fixes his back and escapes the pit, he rescues Gordon from his incredibly cold fate. But the rest of the city needs to know help is on the way, so the two crime fighters light a giant flaming bat symbol atop a nearby bridge. The burning logo gives everyone hope, and it's such a powerful shot that it's worth pausing the film to admire the flames. Hugh Jackman joined the X-Men in 2000, and he proceeded to play the cigar-chomping Wolverine for over 16 years. In fact, he holds the Guinness World Record for longest career as a live-action Marvel superhero, along with his X-Men co-star Patrick Stewart. So when it came time for Jackman to say goodbye in Logan, it broke a lot of Marvel fans' hearts. Fortunately, the 2017 film gave the character a proper goodbye. He went out fighting, protecting the children from an evil band of scientists and soldiers, and he was sent off with one of cinema's most emotional eulogies. With tears welling in her eyes, the young Laura stands over Logan's grave and delivers a monologue from the classic Western film Shane. You tell her everything's all right. There are no more guns in the valley. After the speech, she reaches over to Logan's grave marker and flips it on its side, turning a cross into an X. You'll want to hit the pause button here because the tears will be flowing, and you'll also want to marvel at that final shot of the grave, a tender farewell to the most famous of the X-Men. Ever since the credits of the first Avengers film, Marvel fans knew Thanos was coming. The Mad Titan finally made his move in Avengers Infinity War, rounding up all the Infinity Stones and having the population of the universe with a single snap. But before that heartbreaking moment, the Avengers did their best to stop the Purple Warlord, and none were quite as effective as Doctor Strange. The surgeon turned sorcerer was a key player in Infinity War, protecting the Time Stone from the Black Order and battling Thanos himself on Titan. And it's on this desolate planet that Strange's power powers are on full display. He opens portals for Spider-Man to jump through, he helps Star-Lord run through the air, and his cloak even gets in on the action. In fact, the best moment of the Titan fight is when Strange and Thanos go mano a mano. The most pause-worthy image comes when Strange sprouts multiple arms to perform the images of Icon. You'll want to hit pause again when there are about 100 Doctor Stranges attacking Thanos with 100 Eldritch Whips. Basically, anytime Strange and Thanos are throwing down, you'll want to pause the movie and admire the magic. As played by Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman aka Diana Prince was both kind and courageous, gentle and deadly. She was a compassionate god-killer, and we got to see both sides on display during one of the greatest action scenes in superhero history, the Battle of No Man's Land. During a mission to stop an evil German general, Diana learns that a village full of innocents has been captured by enemy troops. Putting her mission on hold, she decides to rescue the helpless villagers by walking across the most dangerous stretch of ground on the Western Front. With the help of her bullet proof bracelets, she storms across No Man's Land, blocking shots and deflecting bombs like it's an afternoon stroll through the park. As Diana walks through explosions and streaks of flame, you'll need to press the pause button multiple times to fully absorb her awesomeness. There's the scene where she steps onto the battlefield in her full Wonder Woman regalia. There's the moment when she blocks the first bullet, and then there's the scene when she pulls out that shield and stops a barrage of machine gun blasts. It's maybe the most inspirational scene in any DC movie, and anytime you press pause, you can't help but stare in wonder. In the 2018 animated film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, there's no scene more visually impressive than the moment Miles Morales finally takes a leap of faith. Throughout the film, this teenager has been struggling with way more than any kid should ever have to deal with. He's suddenly gotten superpowers, but he doesn't know how to use them, and he's scared he might never live up to his potential. On top of all that, there are supervillains trying to kill him, which never makes things easier. Grappling with his dual identities, Miles finally owns his spider persona, adapting his suit to fit his own background and personality 
reality before literally taking a leap off an enormous skyscraper. As Miles free falls through the air, he passes through a gorgeous cityscape lit with neon blues, dark purples, and smooth pinks. He's directly at the center of the frame, surrounded by giant hulking buildings. The world seems so big, Miles seems so small, and he's falling so fast. But when he blasts those web shooters and begins swinging through the city, he is Spider-Man. He's done more than enough to earn the cover to his own comic, and this scene has done more than enough to earn a few admiring pauses. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superhero movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.